This is why I think with microlearning, repetition is key. Hi! The sky is the limit in terms of the possibilities. Try to make a micro masterclass in one hour. Today we're going to get into a topic that I think everyone needs to hear about. By the time you're finished with this masterclass, you'll have everything you need ways that we can remember the content that we're learning so that we can apply it and we can retain it for years to come. Whether you're making a micro masterclass or a full length masterclass, if you record a trailer for the series, it'll get people to buy it, to watch it. So there's a couple of really interesting movements that have happened over the last couple of years. The first is micro learning, and then on the complete opposite side of the spectrum is master classes. So I'm thinking about cool locations, like on top of this suspension bridge. And because I'm in a cool location, people might notice, they might click, and they might even buy it. I'm making my micro masterclass about feeling comfortable speaking on camera because it's something I genuinely have something to share about. You can be a teacher, share what you know, and you can share it in these bite-sized micro learning segments. It makes it more easily digestible for the viewers, and it makes it easier for you to produce. So a lot of platforms that I've seen for micro learning, there's Blinkist, which is a micro learning site, curated a book, a summary that you can receive every single day. So there's all sorts of caveats that I think come with micro learning. When you learn in a short format, sometimes you forget it and you don't retain the information. This is why I think with micro learning, repetition is key. My goal for this video, by the end of the video, having a micro masterclass. So I got an hour. Now you might be worried about cameras. Our camera is gonna get in the way. I need to buy an expensive camera. No, you do not need expensive gear at all. If you have an iPhone or an Android phone, that's good enough for this task. I would say maybe invest in a lavalier microphone. That's how you get this good sound quality, even though I'm so far away. Then hit record and start going. So who can make a masterclass? I think we all have a chance to become a masterclass creator. It just requires that we create the content, record hours worth of content, and then edit it down into something that's worthwhile. Speaking of editing, I would say that it's probably not necessary to edit a masterclass if you do add some editing, just for brevity, removing pauses, removing ums, so as to respect the viewer's time. Hi, I'm Shannon Leonard, and this micro masterclass <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this micro masterclass. Right, I'm done with my shooting portion. So now we have to edit the footage. Now, don't worry, it's easier than it sounds, especially for a micro masterclass. The editing will be easy. The way that we can monetize our content is to be on YouTube and to put our content out there, but at the same time, to create one or more in a series of high value videos that people can actually purchase to watch. Now, these are typically educational training videos, videos that will teach someone a new skill set or how to manage something within their business. There are hundreds, if not thousands of people that are trying to sell tutorials and video content, training videos. But the key of this video is how to focus on the value and then figure out an easy, very transparent and trustworthy way to monetize the content. The key here is simple, it's a video funnel. Video funnels have historically been called many things, video landing pages, video sales letters. The way that we branded our pages are dub action pages. An action page in our case is a page that has a video on it that has multiple calls to action. So it could be a schedule integration, it could be a form that someone fills out, it could even be a checkout using payments. Whatever it may be, we recommend that you create an action page and have a video that leads to another video. So action pages are a page that has a video with one or more calls to action and potentially even a sales funnel. Bubble mix, giant bubble mix. Our whole idea with our, our action pages, our video pages, is to get as much done and at one place as we can. So when, when a visitor visits that page, we have your playlists, we have your CTAs, that choose your own journey. And of course, the ultimate uh, goal is usually to get them to make a purchase, and now they can do that directly from that page. A lot of the times we have like that book button, which is the low hanging fruit, but now we've actually added the option to capture the very lowest hanging fruit, the people that are ready to actually take action right away. Um, and then you can put your PayPal right on that page. So. Um, just right along the, the, the whole method that we have going of taking someone from a place of where they have no idea who you are or what you're selling all the way to possibly a conversion and a purchase on that same video page. Quick update on my micro masterclass. I finished it all within an hour. And you know, just like Ruben said, the editing can be fairly quick for these type of videos. However, then I got caught up editing 
this video, the one you're watching now. I personally use Premiere Pro. You can use iMovie or any kind of editing software on your phone to edit out the mistakes and just make it a more pleasant viewing experience. So the Micro Masterclass, it's a combination of micro learning and masterclass. Yeah, so try it for yourself and see if it works for you. Meanwhile, I'm still editing the video that you're watching right now. That's it for this video. If you're not subscribed already to the Dub YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching our video.